Morning. Uh, I reckon we're quits. Dan? We're even now. I'll forget about the cab and the eye. You've got your phone back. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. I knew it was a black eye. Didn't I say last night when I got in you said I was drunk? Uh, well, you were. What, well, what happened? Nothing. Uh, last orders, punters. Where are we taking that? Um. The cellar? No. You're up to something. <sighs> Not all right. I, I didn't want to worry you. There's a rat. What? It's all right, I'm on it. What, giving it bacon boys? Well, I was hoping that the smell would lure it out. I am calling pest control. I am not having a rat in here. No way. Hey, it's not in here, it's down there. Probably uh, helped itself to half our ale and slept in. <laughs> it's not funny, Steve. And you're not luring it anywhere. It is staying put till I can get someone to come and kill it. Can't stand rats, I can't bear them. Oh, Janice, just come outside. I'm giving you the chance to tell me a big fat I told you so. Hey! What happened to you and Dad having out the shop? Yes, you were right about everything, and yes, I'm an idiot. Excuse me, am I invisible here? Is it a family trait? Listen, I'm outside now. Well, how long are you going to be? Right, OK, well, I'll meet you in Rise in about 20 minutes. Right, try. Well, are you opening up the shop? No. You and Dan had a row? Not yet. And don't pretend you don't know he didn't come home last night. Well, Dan didn't. Yeah, Dan didn't. Yeah, well, he probably stayed over at some mates or something. All right, mate with no phone. Hey, how's your head? Don't worry, I'll open up. It tells you everything, doesn't it? What does? I tell him that Dan didn't come home last night and he's straight into the excuses. Doesn't worry that he may be laying dead in the ditch somewhere, oh no. He knows what he's like. Dan didn't even text you. I bet you think it's karma, don't you? Me getting cheated on. No, of course not. <sighs> Look at him. Well, if he's trying to warn Dan I'm after him, he's wasting his time because Steve's got his phone. See you later. Dan, polish up your alibi. Your girlfriend's got that kicking where it hurts here about her. Get down to the shops. Chocolates, flowers. Maybe a bit of chain mail for yourself. And soon, eh? Have a nice day at the office, dear. I'm not working, am I? Mm. Lucky. I won't trust you with power tools. Blame yourself if you were so knackered you lopped some at half. <sighs> you took it well, then? Oh, I don't. Do you know, I thought you had more about you. No, actually, that's not true. I just wished you had. She deserves to know where she stands. Look at the state you. Why don't you go back to bed? I'll sort the problem. out. Because I not want to get up again. Well, then just come down when you're ready. Everything will be normal. Normal? Um, uh, up and running and that. I'll, I'll see to it. Your mobile was ringing, Leanne. Oh, she'll be rough. She's worse than me. What? Serious? And deeply regretted by the bloke who did it. Is it her? Do, do you want one of your own? I find out. He's probably just got bladded and fell asleep at a mate's or something. Yeah, well, ring me when he shows up. Of course you should kill him. I'd kill Steve for a lot less. Right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Dan stopped out all night. What, and he didn't ring her? Cool. Well, no, cos some childish ex-mate nicked his phone. 
Well, I gave it him back. When? Last night. When last night? Last night. He asked for it and I gave it him. Right. And that black eye's got nothing to do with that? No, no. Hmm. See, if I even get the slightest sniff that you and him are still playing that stupid game, it'll be you that's stopping out all night. In that yard, with my footprint on your backside. Can you uh, see to Amy? No. I'm going to get some rat poison. I'll not be able to work knowing that thing's scratching around down there. Hey, you can come do our house next if you fancy. Molly, after bottoming the salon, all I'm fit for is a gin tea in the Rovers. Mm. Great minds think alike, eh? 460 that, okay. Not sure we think alike. Otherwise, you wouldn't be rejecting David when he most needs support. Gail, I hope you're going to lighten up before Ted gets here. You not being around might help. Listen to her. Do you know Ted was lucky to miss her teenage years? <laughs> so is your dad coming again then? <laughs> yeah. Aww. Yes, and I will be near because he phoned and said we should all go to the Rovers later. When? So have a word with your face eh? You don't want him going off you. When did he phone? Time, gentlemen, please. Dan, I know you've not got out. Put the light bulb back in, I'm not stupid. You try to get me to come down there, it's not going to happen. Look, Leanne's furious with you, Michelle's furious with me, let's call an end to it and shake hands. Right, suit yourself, the punters will be here in 20 minutes, I'll let you know when a brownie's changing. Dan from across the road. What are you sneaking about for? Ran out upstairs. What's he doing down there? Nothing. I thought I heard something last night. Why is he not coming out? Because he's trying to get me to go down there. You're scared. I don't want to give him the advantage he's taking the light out. He thinks the longer he's quiet, the more I'll worry, and eventually... I bet he's set a trap down there. You put your foot in the noose and bam! Dangling from your ankle above a vat of poisonous snakes or a meat slicer. You are banned from video games. I've got a torch. Perfect. Go and fetch it. I want him out of here before your mum gets back. Don't feel the need to help out, Mother. Two minutes to flick through a paper so it don't get binned and read. How's that not helping? I suppose you'd rather burn the planet up making papers that go straight in bin. Are uh, you going to mind shop while I pick up my dad? I want to pick up dad. Where's he going to sleep? Oh, Mum's moving out. I'm going to demand a DNA test off you. I can't have spawned such a miserable cow. Dad won't want you here any more than me. I don't even know why you came in the first place. Can I have DNA testing off? Don't you want to be my daughter? Yeah, but I don't want her to be my sister. I look after you better than she ever did. My kids might not get 365, 24, 7, one to one, but they know they're loved. Yeah, right. And if you don't, it proves my point. You can't be one of mine. Happy packing! Is that it? It's rubbish. It was a present from you. I was hoping I could use it as something to defend myself with. Come on. No chance. Go down there in the dark when there's a bloke wanting to kill you. He doesn't want to kill me. I would. Well, even if he did, there's no reason to kill you, has he? I'll stand here and call the ambulance when he lamps you. Cheers. And the exotic animal shop to come and get the snakes. Dead the border, have we? Dan? Ah, yeah. Dan? Ryan, get an ambulance! Get an ambulance!
let's go straight home, eh? No way. My man is having a proper cooked breakfast. <laughs> hey, the nerve of that hotel. Continental breakfast. Bet on the continent they don't pay seven and a half quid for a bit of bread and jam. Sausage, egg, bacon, beans, fried bread. What about mushrooms? Why don't we just go to the cafe? No, you're wasting your breath, Vernon. I am cooking breakfast for my drummer, no argument. I was so proud of you last night. Oh, they weren't that good. Well, I mean, good. Yeah, but I mean, no better than the, the normal good. Trust me, you were brilliant. Right, I'll, uh, well, I'll not be a minute. Oh, are you coming in? No, no, I'll wait here. Switch the light, light, switch it on. What's happened? He was fine when I left him. He was okay. Well, is he breathing? Just. Well, he was okay. He must have had a heart attack or something. I don't know. A something. What the hell was he doing there anyway? <laughs> Rooms. Well, there were, but they were not up to the standard I am prepared to accept for my gorgeous fern. Liz. What? No, nothing. <laughs> mushrooms, mushrooms, who needs them? <laughs> I can manage. I right, no strain, you said. Oh. Hiya, baby. Ooh, ooh, okay. Listen, since when has being able to stand on my own two feet been a strain? Since about 1987, when you discovered my fried wedges. Oh, hello, Teresa. Expect a gone, did you? So who's looking after the shop? We can see you home, can't we? Hiya, kiddo. How oh, are you? Hey, have you been in charge for me? Of course. Go pick him up. Did you organise that, did you? Keep me on my toes. Supposed to be a hair round in a minute. Too right. If you don't get in here right now and give me hand shifting this wardrobe. You are? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Uh, Rita, I, I, I've just got to, uh, uh, I, I want me a minute. Dan, son. Look, he was knocking on the door. It was a joke. It was supposed to be funny. Calm things down, I said. Didn't I say that to you? Uh, Daniel, uh, Dan. Dan? Can you open your eyes for me, Dan? Dan? What happened? This pillock left him down here all night. He was fine. You just get out of the way, will you? Go on. Dan? Can you hear me? Dan? Why was he down there in the first place? Oh, ask him. Look at your eye. What have you done to him? Nothing. Was he down there all night? Like that? Not like that, no. He was talking, shouting. Even threw down some crisps. Crisps? I don't believe this. Some people had killed to spend a night in a pub cellar. With or without crisps. How could you have been so bloody stupid? Make some space, will you? I'm sure he's gonna be all right. Oh, yeah? Based on what? Just if there's anything at all we can do. Keep him out of my sight. Stop here, and you. Right. Rodenticide. Rodenticide? Here, is that down? What's happened? Uh, I don't know, but David Platt was released yesterday. Do the maths. What's happened? Oh, it's this thing with Steve. Let go tell you. No, no, I'll do that. Phone, if there's anything you need. Yeah, yeah. Deirdre, you think you could take Amy? Yeah, of course I will, love. What's gone on? <sighs> Don't ask. I could be an ambulance driving me, could you? Of course, it'd be here, speeding about with flashing on. Yeah, they get you in like an accident for then time you are. Nah, I'm not squeamish. I look with kebabs. Yeah, I thought that'd be an ace horror film. Having someone on that spinny thing of yours. It's called a gyro. Really, and slicing them up. It's not as easy as it looks, you know, slicing kebabs. Give over. I could do it with my eyes shut. 
Five or six, you come. All right. Can he, uh, can he hear me? Arrest! I'm getting fluids in! Phone control to tell the hospital! What's happened? Is his heart stopped? Sit back, please! Sit back! Your mother can shock him! Sit back! He's quite the believer! Yeah, but if his heart stops, he's supposed to... Heart needs something to work with! Do it! That's what I'm giving him! Dan! Dan! Dan, stay with us, mate! Please! Hang in there! We were through there, he hit me, right? I fell back, the phone went down the cell, it sort of flew out my hand! What, in a kind of throwing action? Well, if he hadn't scratched my cab in the first place... Oh, you're still going on about that, after the state is in! Right, in the back, both of you. Oh, not on my account, please. I, I, I don't mind waiting for a drink. No, Norris, I do not want them in here arguing about a scratch on a cab. He has no proof it even was, Dan. Looked to me more like someone trying to get past with something. <laughs> Did it? What I'm saying is, is that the phone went down the cellar and there was nothing wrong with Dan. He kind of bounced after it. Bounced? Bounced, bounded, strong like. It was like. Go on, keep going, show me. I'm not exaggerating. And he was like. You throw flaming crisps at him and bolt the door. Well, have a see what it feels like, eh? <laughs> yes, Norris. Norris. Dan Mason went to the PARS on route to hospital but has responded to resuscitation. BP 60 over 40, bruising to the lower left rib cage, possibly a ruptured spleen. He's had two litres of saline, one adrenaline, three milligrams of atropine, and then we got an output. Let's get him into resus. Fast beat the surgical reg. Let's get some O positive blood in him. Sorry, sir, you have to stay here. been all over. He was in the Rovers, wasn't he? Dan. They've just brought him out. I'll kill him. What do you mean, brought him out? Well, to the ambulance. I don't know what's gone off, but they took him off in an ambulance. Uh, Leanne, wait, what? Come on. Whoa, whoa, oi, hang on, Bill! Oh, come on, it's an emergency. It will be in a minute. All right, I'll pay for it. How much? Five quid. Twenty. Ten. Anything is he all right? You think they're going to call us with an update? Look, Mum, if you've come to tell me I'm an idiot. Does it need saying? No. How did you let it get to this? Hey, this is like you and Andy all over again. One of you does some, then the other one has to top it. Always the last word. That was him. No. It were both of you. He'd break your video game, so you had to go and break his. Look, Mum, I swear, Dan was fine when I closed the door. <sighs> What's that? Boob. Let's have a look. There's glass in that. Oh, there's only you could get injured changing a light bulb. Come on. Where? Well, if I want to be properly angry with you, I don't need you bleeding all over the place. Needs a stitch, does that? Get up. He's gone straight to theatre. They need to stop the bleeding from his spleen. I'll let you know as soon as I know any more. Will he be okay? He's in good hands. Theatre. Is he okay? Oh, can't imagine you're here to help me with my hair, Trox. I want you to cancel the drink with Ted. What? 
God, why should I? I've made plans. Well, how am I meant to know that, Gail? You're not talking to me. Aren't you taking enough time off us? Oh, come on, don't start. I mean, I forfeit the first 50 years. Now I'm not allowed to go for a nice walk in the country with him. Find a quiet pub for our tea. A walk in the country? <laughs> What's wrong with that? When did you last fancy a walk in the country? Well, I fancy it now. You used to suck for days whenever I dragged you near a bit of green. Who are you trying to kid him? You really are, eh, Julie Andrews? You don't want a drink with me any more than I want a drink with you, so why deliberately ruin me evening? Oh, having a fag, getting all the gory stories off the smokers. Why do you think she wanted to come? Listen, you check on the waiting times and I'll go on a coffee forage. Or will you be nil by mouth? <gasps> Good point. Better get some chocolate before they wire me jaw shut. Hiya. What do you want? How's he doing? Bleeding to death. It's not that bad, is it? He's having an operation. To try and save his life. You know, me and Michelle should have smacked your heads together. There's only one that smacking it. I didn't know he was ill. Ill? His heart stopped. I had to sit in the back of that ambulance watching them trying to keep him alive. You know what? You better pray no one comes through that door and tells me my son hasn't made it. Because I'll be after you. Do you hear me? You will pay! Which would you prefer, this, or that he was with some other bird? Well, you thought it too, didn't you? He's not bad, you know. Stupid, yeah. But not bad. He just gets scared that something else is happening somewhere and he's missing out on it. He's just got to learn that what's best might be what's under his nose. And he will. I was the same at his age. Yeah? How many marriages did you had by then? Oh, do you know them coffee machines? I'm sure they make these flimsy cups so it burns you need to have something to do. <laughs> his heart is in the right place, you know. Well, I wish we could say the same about his spleen. How did him and Steve let this happen? The only person I want to hear answer that is Dan. And that's because it would mean he was well enough to tell me. What are you doing later? Uh, I've got to go to Gail's. Gail's? See David? Because Gail's asked if, I'd, you know, just so he knows that people are there from now he's out. And after? Uh, well, I've got to... Well, my mum said that I don't see her at the moment, so... Gail! You just think the unky bloke wandering out of bathroom is of the morning? Yeah, so I'm going to spend a bit of time with her. Just me and her. Cook a bit of tea and that. And after that? Aren't you meant to be at work? Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. But you will not escape me for long. Gone and I need more copper. You wouldn't believe she was Florence Nightingale in a former life. No, I've no Leanne, I've no you two, I can't get hold of Sean and Betty's off on some coach trip. Oh, I will. What about Vern? Vernon is looking after your daughter. I thought Deirdre had her. Could Ryan sit with her? It's not Ryan's job. Should have left him bleeding all over the place, should have. Well, he didn't need an entourage. War wound. It's not good. Stanny's really bad. Well, it was an accident, though, wasn't it? Don't stick up for him. Yes. It happens. I uh, hospitalised the roadie once by accident. <laughs> yeah, it was similar. Uh, I was only trying to fit him in my drum case and he dislocated his shoulder. You might help him, Vern. Sorry. Right, juice for Amy. Oh, oh I'll, uh, I'll go. Oh. 
is upset. No, I'm sorry. You should have seen it coming. I'm sorry I'm late. No, come in. Let me take your coat. I was making good time until the car conked. I had to be towed off the M602 by the mechanic up the road. You broke down? Oh. I had some flowers and left them in the back seat. <laughs> is the car all right? Nothing you can't fix first thing, he said. Kevin, is it? It's been nothing but trouble from the start, that car. I should have driven it into the canal. Oh. I'm not sure that would have been the answer. I'll get the flowers, and then I'll have a ring round and get the price of a higher car, in case it takes longer. I hope you haven't got anything planned for this afternoon. Nothing concrete. We're a bit tied, aren't we, meeting my mum later? Audrey? Was she cancelled? Something to do with Bill's accounts? Right. Get the vase. Uh, how big? About three ninety nines worth. <laughs> All I know is Carla looked like she'd seen a ghost when she dragged Leanna out at calf. Then Norris is in, saying Harry's been sent on ahead. I reckon to identify it, body. Dan's dead? Who told you that? Well, then, see? Well, if he is, the surgeon's a waste of the time. Last thing I heard, he was having an op. Ah, oh, bang goes my theory. <laughs> Becky says that Norris reckons that Steve gave Dan rat poisoning and then sealed him up in the cellar. He's like Agatha Christie on acid is Norris. When you say sealed him up, do you mean locked the door? <laughs> is that a bit true, then? <laughs> Steve locked him in as a joke. Hmm. There was no poison. And it's a pack of prawn cocktail counts. Well, it was good goss while it lasted. Um, I've only come for your keys, I. To what? Your house. I'm not Robbo. Didn't say you would. And I'm not copying him. She's reassuring, isn't she? What do you want them for? Secret. You don't trust me, do you? Well, what do you reckon I'll do? Of course, I trust you. Ah. Oh, no, you don't. That poor girl's for the high road when our Jason turns into a decent human being. Honestly, you drum into them how to treat women and then one turns out gay and the other one turns out like his father. What, do you think boys turn into their dads? What do you think? I really thought about it. Bye bye hospital food. What are you doing? His last supper. The one he would have wished he'd had if he had actually croaked it the other week. You're trying to kill him. It'll do no harm. He'll eat boringly from tomorrow. Sensibly. And regularly. It's not even dinner time. Oh, make your mind up, Melanie. One minute he couldn't be fitter and you're kicking me down the path. The next, he needs watching every second. Which is it? The kick down the path. All right, that's enough, Mel. Well, she's... I mean it. You've done nothing but argue with your mum since I got home. I want you to get better. <sighs> well, I'll eat half, all right. And then from tomorrow, we'll run this place like Elf Farm. There, you see. A plan. Are you all relatives? Uh, this is, um, this is Dan's girlfriend. Is he OK? The surgeon had to remove his spleen, but the operation was successful. He'll be on intensive care tonight. Can I see him? He's sedated. But well, he's going to be OK. If I were a betting man... Betting men always lose, eventually. All the signs are that he'll make a good and quick recovery. The nurse will come and get you as soon as he's ready to see you. Thanks. Thanks. That coffee machine, do you... You reckon it does brandy, eh? I <laughs> wish. Oh, a break at last. I'm not working, love. Your dad just needs a few bits and pieces. How much are you taking? Uh, lip, Daryl. I'm taking the pressure of your father. Can't put a price on that. Came in at dinner, you shot? Don't you start. We're understaffed due to unforeseen heart attacks. Go on then, spin the wheel. What? <laughs> Fiver. Me making a kebab with my eyes shut. She's getting me chips with her winnings. Come on, then. <laughs> okay. Right. okay. Turn that on. Yeah. <laughs> right. Ow, ow. Oh, spin yeah. round, spin round. <laughs> right. Knife. Where? Yeah. Pitter. Don't mix them up. Right. Let me add it. Whoa! Go downwards. Oh. Watching Saw 3. 
And she's probably imagining that's my mum. <laughs> <laughs> Not a one until you said that. All right. All right, leave a bit of room <laughs> for some chilli. All right, ready? Uh-huh. Voila. Oh, yeah. You so owe me a fiver. What? What's wrong with that? What's this for? Well, it's just to uh, make it a bit easier. Cheers. Yeah, well, you defo owe me a fiver. Call it my uh, first hour's wages. Wages? Well, yeah, he shot staff. I'm a genius, OK? Why don't you just give me a job until your dad comes back? He failed to get me in the salon. Yeah, I failed to get myself in and all. All right, then. Sound. There you go. Your first and only free bear. Does it come with instructions? <laughs> <laughs> Next time there's a lock-in at the Rover, son, don't keep it yourself, eh? <laughs> what are you trying to do to us, eh? But I gave him a scare, did I? Steve. He gave us all a scare. Well, I could have killed the both of you. Nearly didn't need to kill this one. Steve had it covered. We were as bad as each other. It was him who started it. He wouldn't let it go. I don't want to hear it. It's history. You both pushed it too far. No, not me, him. Oh, listen to him. Oh, if you're going to side with McDonald, just go. We're not siding with anyone. He tried to kill me. Oh, come on, don't get yourself all wound up. Why would he lock the door when I was banging on it, yeah? Shouting for an ambulance. What? I was begging. Steve knew it was serious. He just turned the key and walked away. Well, knowing the state you were in? He tried to kill me. I will bring your keys back, but I got distracted with the ingredients. Distracted with you what? I'm cooking. Now, before you say no, I know he said he'll cook, but I thought if you eat his food, his quality mother son time you're after, probably be on diary award at general. I'll get off straight after. Does Jason know that you're doing this? Nope. Shot a can. Audrey! Oh, Ted, hi. Gave up on Bill's accounts, did you? Gave up on what? Oh, no, no, I'm just going home to do them now. <laughs> it looked like you were going into the pub. You've got time for a quick one, haven't you? Uh, uh, no, no, I was only just going in to ask Liz Summit, uh, the landlady, but uh, look at the time. No, I'll have to ask her tomorrow, so uh, see you soon anyway. Bye, Gail. Bye, ma'am. I was going to say she's a terrible liar, but history suggests that's not true, doesn't it? Why would she lie? Exactly, why would she? If she doesn't want to see me, why doesn't she just say so? Hiya, Janice, it's Carla, love. I'm just seeing how you are after this morning. Yeah. Shock of Liane. eh? How is Dan? How is he? Oh, dear. Oh, no, his spleen. Don't you need your spleen? Right. Oh, right. Well, that's something, I suppose, isn't it? All right, well, give him my love, won't you? Yeah. Tomorrow? Yeah, of course you can. Just come back to work when you're ready. All right, then. All right, thanks. Bye. Thanks to you, I'm a worker down now tomorrow. Dan's all right, though, eh? They've taken out his spleen. Yeah. So if you thought you had no guts before... Look, he's all right, but they're keeping him in. The hand's on the way over to pick up his stuff now. Come on, Bill. The pint's getting warm here. I thought you said Audrey was out. Oh, right. No, no, you do what you got to do, mate. You shouldn't have a funny move. You keep your head down. All right, I'll speak to you later, pal. Wait. You want another drink? You're still upset, aren't you? What? My man, earlier. I don't know what I've done wrong. Why make excuses not to see me? She was obviously lying. It was me. I asked her not to come for a drink. I'm sorry. When? She thought you and me would be off somewhere at another pub, which is why she didn't expect to see us. Why didn't you want her to be here? We'd been rowing. 
What's it about? David. Oh. Sorry. Wait, where's Steve? Steve! If it makes you feel any better, Michelle locked Steve down there for an hour before, just to give him a dose of his own medicine. Even if he did scratch your cab, which, by the way, he didn't, can you tell me how that justifies trying to kill him? Oh, uh, hang on, I didn't try and kill him. He had to have his spleen removed. He nearly died. Yeah, well, if I'd known he was ill... Uh, he was not ill. He was injured because you threw him down the stairs. I didn't throw anyone. You locked any... the door and you left him begging for an ambulance. In my book, that's trying to kill somebody. Begging for an ambulance? You know, attempting murder, it's pretty serious, Steve. High up on the list of things you shouldn't do. Oh, is that what he's saying? Getting locked in a cell is nothing compared to what you've got coming. He wasn't begging for an ambulance, Leah. Leanne! I wasn't injured. I wouldn't do that. How many flaming times so I don't park here? I'm not parked. I'm hovering. I'm hovering. I need the cab. Go and use one of the other... Dan, he's trying to get me sent down. Get out. Whoa, you can't drive in this state, mate. What about your hand? Come on. I'll drive. <laughs> get in, I'll drive. You and me, Tate. It smells it's for him. Right. Oh, he answered his phone. That Gail's dragged him in and fast fed him. Look, when he does come, I'll uh, I'll leave it to it, eh? It's me on fault. Shouldn't have made it a surprise. How's I meant to know it's here if it's a surprise, eh? So that's Kayla's dinner money for the week. And Finley's. You're freaking me out now. Bring back your evil twin sister. Am I not allowed to be not sideways by what's happened? Of course. Don't worry. It's selfishness. If the kids are looked after, you get less stress, you get better quickly, then I'm off the hook again. Yeah, that sounds more like it. I should be here, though, under their noses, so I can keep them off your case. I mean, kids, they don't think, do they, eh? Wired to only think of themselves. Well, if we had more space... I could sleep on the couch. Well, you don't want to do that. You don't believe I'd do it for the kids? <laughs> it's not that. Let me help out, Jerry. You've done most of the legwork till now. Most? I want to make it up. Look how Mel is with me. I mean, do you think I'm going to change her mind about me if I'm not right here doing my best for them? Well... Right, good. That's decided, then. Um, I just need a bit of drawer space. What's in here? You go and have a lie down. Go on, I'll put kids to you. Right, but... We all have to make sacrifices, Jerry. Sleeping on that is mine. You concentrate on getting better. Go on, Zeds. Thanks. You still here? I'm stopping. Get used to it. And you are making tea. Oi! You organise some sort of hostage swap? You what? They let you out as long as someone's in captivity at your mum's house. You what? Where's Jason? Well, how should I know? Because he was someone to see, wasn't he, by Gail? Yeah, well, he's not been. <laughs> and I have been in. No? Yeah, yeah. He's obviously just swerving you. You want a fat lip, jail boy? Jess! Hiya. Hiya. Come here for your mother sometime? Yeah, soz. Cut some scram and save you at bother. You don't mind eating with me first, though, eh? No. Our David? Fine, yeah. Seemed OK. Great. Excuse me. There was nothing wrong with you when I shut that door. Get out. Get out of here. It's Just a lie, out. and you damn well know it. How much damage do you want to do, eh? Come on, I didn't know you were hurt. Uh, stick around, Steve. The police are coming to talk to me any minute. Get out, I mean it. Come on, get out. Come on. You call the police and I swear! What, you'll do a better job of it? We're gone. We're gone.
You all right, son? His face. <laughs> Is it true that he didn't know you were hurt? He was terrified, wasn't he? Dan, is it true? Whose side are you on? Yours. Which means ending this stupid feud. Look where it's got you. Yeah, here. What about him? Don't tell the police anything that'll make it worse. You've got your revenge. He's scared. Are you saying you don't believe me? No, of course not. I'm just saying don't make it worse, that's all. Daniel Mason? Yeah, what's left of me? Think about it, Dan. How bad do you want this to get me? Yes, Lloyd! I'll wait outside, you talk to him. He could get me sent down. And steaming into intensive care, shouting the odds is going to help. How? If the police believe I knew he was ill and turned the key on him, he'll have half a dozen nurses able to back up the story that you're mad and dangerous. Any more of that, he'll have me backing him up and all. It's Amy. What about Amy, eh? I get sent down, he's laughing, and my daughter grows up with both her parents banged up. Look, mate, I'm sure he's just enjoying winding you up. When the police talk to him, he'll back down. Why would he risk getting into trouble through lying, eh? Hey? He won't take it that far, mate. It'll be fine, trust me. So I was giving it all that. <gasps> no! <laughs> what? Well, like... Get out of this cafe, man, you were having me on! Because <laughs> Norris is like that, isn't he? He's like, yes, and that's not all. Because you know what he's like, the more I think she's loving the ghost, the better the ghost gets. <laughs> so by the end of it, right, he's got Steve, top at cellar steps, smearing rat poison all over his packet of brown cocktail crisps. He's like that. He's like, ha, 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 And Dan, he's just like, Bambi to the slaughter. He's like, Cocktail Christmas favorite. <laughs> what? You bonkers, you. Make you laugh, don't I? Yeah. No, but I do. We have a laugh, don't we? Of course. I just should keep remembering that, eh? That's a lovely talent. Oh, here he is. Back to the Hammer House of Horror. Don't say it. I'll put you some tea out. It's in the microwave. Thanks. No, don't mistake it for forgiveness. You must think I'm pathetic. Why? Making me mum cancel. It's shameful. I can be so childish with you sometimes. I didn't want you to see me like that. And now you see me as scheming and on the hand. Do you think I'm going to drive off into the sunset the first time you bicker with your mother? Even if I had a drivable car? I don't know. I do. I'm not. I didn't want her sitting here and giving you all her side of the story about David. All sarky and funny at my expense. Me seeming hard and cruel. Gail, I'm your father. You've got my blood in those veins. Whereas your mother is a girl I slept with five decades ago. How could she turn me away from you? And if it helps, I think you were right to stick up for David. He's your son. And if she tells me the story, I'll stick up for you. For the same reason. It still feels strange. But you and Audrey, you're stuck with each other too. So maybe... It's time to sort things out, eh? Hey, it's one positive. Ambulances hanging everywhere. It's good for business. Everybody wants to gossip. <laughs> it's the same true of police cars. Oh, no. Steve McDonald. Speak. I'm arresting you on suspicion of assault and unlawful imprisonment. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Hey, there's no need for that. Don't, Mum. <sighs> hey, how come you take 
taking the other fella's word for it. Why aren't you asking him his side? Leave it, Mum. I'll, I'll give you a ring. Steve? Next. The boy that had the money was beaten to death. Ask some of your mates in here. They know all about it. Raymond Carmi. It's Taggart. Whilst on ITV2, it's the first in a series of special episodes of Supernatural. And on ITV3, The Breakfast Club.